Good afternoon, all. Uh, thanks for listening to the NTM story. Um, like Brooks Gold, we, we think we've got a lot of growth and a lot of potential. We're um, somewhat at the other end of the scale, though, being a, a junior explorer. Uh, standard disclaimer that everyone can read through. Um, so just a quick snapshot on, on NTM and uh, what we're about. So we've got the Redcliffe project. It's located near Leonora in Western Australia. Um, location is very strategic. We're surrounded by four processing plants um, and the geology is fantastic. Even though gold's been mined there since the 1890s, it's, it's still being mined today and new deposits are being found and, and extended. Um, in terms of value, look, we've got a significant resource base, over half a million ounces. Based on that, we're, we're undervalued. Um, however, we still think we've got a, a lot of uh, upside beyond that. Um, and to that end, we've got 170 square kilometres of tenements with, with fantastic geology. And to that end, we've got a, a very active work program. We've got a, a plus 20,000 metre air core program, which is underway. Uh, we had some recent drill success, and we're likely to follow that up um, in the coming months. So just a quick corporate snapshot. Um, like most in the junior end on the ASX, we've, we've been uh, belted down over the past couple of months. However, with the success we had at the, our hub prospect um, about two weeks ago, we got a nice response in the share price, which is always good to show that the investors are still out there and still willing to have a punt and, and recognise good success. Uh, the other key aspects of this, I suppose we've got a, a very strong supportive shareholder base, as you can see in the, the big block of high net worths there, who have supported the company for a long time and are very passionate. And the other aspect uh, down the bottom left is our EV per ounce at, at $23 an ounce, which is about half the average of our peers. So as I said, based on that, we're, we're good value alone. So just drilling down into to our assets, so the Redcliffe project you can see there in red in the centre, 170 square kilometres. Uh, you can see the, the 50 and 75 kilometre radius around our tenements. Within that there are four processing plants, Darlow, Thunderbox, Gualia and Mount Morgans. Uh, we've also got uh, a development story to the south of us, Kin, with the potential for a, a fifth processing plant. So it's, it's a great place to be. It gives us options uh, down the track in the ways to, to potentially monetise uh, the asset, uh, as well as it demonstrates that there's a lot of gold in this area. Drilling down a little bit more detail, uh, we focus on the Mertendale Shear Zone. We've got about 40 kilometres strike of that. Um, it's got quite a, a distinctive weathering profile, particularly towards the south, uh, which actually works in our favour because the historic drilling just did not go deep enough. Um, and therein lies the opportunity for us because it means a lot of areas were not effectively tested. So as it said, drill depth is critical in, in this part of the world. So to demonstrate that a little bit more, uh, on this map you can see on the left hand side over aeromagnetics you can see all the drilling that's been done uh, historically. However, when you pull out all the holes that are deeper than 50 metres, all of a sudden they disappear. So where our opinion is that less than 20% of this ground has been effectively tested, yet we've already got half a million ounces. So this uh, shows some of the deposits that we've got. This is Nambi deposit, this is towards the, the north, historically mined by Ashton uh, in the 90s. This is a good demonstration of the, of the type of deposit that we have. Uh, as I uh, touched on before, you need to drill deeper, as demonstrated by these higher grade plunging chutes. Um, Nambi has 138,000 ounces, but it's still open at depth. It has another two loads with it, um, but demonstrates that, look, uh, the, the upside of, of this style of deposit, uh, good grades, good widths. Approximately 25 kilometres to the south, with uh, another deposit with plunging chutes at depth is GTS. However, the difference with GTS is it has these flat-lying uh, weathering profile on top, uh, which has remobilised the gold into this these flat lying um, orientation. But below that is your, your high grade shoots at depth. The difference between GTS and NAMBI is that NAMBI, that um, oxide mineralisation has been stripped off. But the recurring theme is that you need to drill deeper in this part of the world. So on that we've got a, a large number of targets to test. Here's just a quick cartoon of, of some of the obvious targets that, that we're following up, uh, which we're testing with the Air Corps as we speak. A lot of historic plus one gram intercepts um, and we've got these type of target the whole way up and down uh, 40 kilometres of strike. This just this goes up to the, the very northern end of our tenements uh, where there's been very very little drilling at all. Uh, a couple of demonstrations of targets uh, which I'm not sure if you can read but we've got a soil anomaly which had 11 grams at surface which has got no drilling in it we're that we're going to test. 
as well as our satin target, which is uh, an intrusive granite, which hasn't, has got very little to limited testing and we think it's got potential to be something quite big. We're going to put some holes in that in the coming weeks as well. Now, drilling down into our, our recent su success we had at the hub deposit, or sorry, a bit early to call it a deposit. We'll see how we go, but it's, we've had some good intercepts. Uh, hopefully, we can call it a deposit shortly. But as you can see, it's in the centre of the tenements. It's where there's a, a key uh, bend in the stratigraphy in the, the Mertendale Shear, and the geology is quite strictly complex. So the drilling uh, intersected two good grade hits. Uh, we had seven at 4.7 at the end of a hole and 10 metres at 2.7 at the hole next to it. Um, both on the end of a line, 200 metres south of that, we had five metres at one grams per tonne. Now this is in air core drilling, so it's first pass early stage drilling and these results are a fantastic effort. So we've got at least 200 metres of strike of mineralisation and it's open for 900 metres to the north. So it's a fantastic effort for, for first pass exploration. This is just a cross section on it. As you can see, it starts at about 25 metres, or that's where the first intercept was. Still very much open at depth because air core is very limited in the depth penetration that can get to. Very obvious follow-up targets with RC drilling and a fantastic start to the exploration. So where to from here? Well, we, we completed a, a quite a large RC drilling program that got us to our 500,000 plus ounces. Uh, that took about 18 months and uh, was, it was a fantastic outcome. We increased the resource by 94%. Uh, after that resource drill out, we've now flicked over into our exploration mode, which is where our air core program comes in. We're testing 12 targets, 20,000 metres. We're probably about two thirds of the way through that program as we speak. And the aim is to target new deposits. We could continue to drill out the existing deposits that we've got, uh, given that they're all still open at depth and there's a lot of upside. However, in terms of bang for a buck, for, for us as a junior, it's, it's all about finding new ounces and new deposits. Uh, on that, it's also a matter of being smart with our exploration. So we've done a gravity trial, and that's demonstrated that, that the Mertendale um, shear is picked up very well in, with the changes in density and there's some very interesting structural features that we need to follow up. That's been very successful, so we're looking to extend that over time and just be smart about how we do things. Following on from that, we'll, we'll follow up with a, a decent RC program on Hub, plus some of the other deposits that we've got, and uh, fingers crossed some of the other uh, targets that we're testing. So just in, in summary, look, fantastic location. Surrounded by four processing plants, gives us optionality down the track in the ways to monetize this as well as it's a fantastic geological location. Lots of big gold deposits, long life, uh, but with a lot of upside uh, over and above what we have, as well as all the, the players in the region. On a value base alone, half a million ounces were undervalued. All the deposits are open at depth, and we think there's a lot of targets that we can expand that resource base on. To that end, we think we're, it's heavily underexplored, a lot more work to do. We've had fantastic, outstanding um, first pastoral success and we think that's going to continue. That's it. Thank you.